Oh, hello. Hi. I'm Zigala, the art angel. You can call me Auntie Angel if you like. I'm going to try something I haven't done in a while, which is a floor session. I don't feel like he's so far down there. I'm in the head hut here. And uh, the camera there where, where I'm talking to you is down on the floor. And so am I. I'm actually up on the second second floor of the head hut. It's got a whole nother section below me. I wrote a book about it. You can find that on Amazon. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is stretching the body. And um, as is... As one does, I've been changing it up just a little bit. Kind of kind of change one way or another, right? Um, but what hasn't changed is that I'm here to check in with my own body, do a little stretching and strengthening, a little self-loving, and I encourage you to try out the same, however feels right in your body. I like to remind you there's not one way to stretch, not one way to check in with yourself. Not one way to love yourself a little bit more. And I hope to encourage you to do whatever works best for you. And I'm going to be here trying to do what works best for me. And today I thought I would get down on the floor because it's been a while since I did that. And uh, use it or lose it, as they say. I'm going to start off by just trying to get blood back in the legs and doing a little bit of foot pressing you find I'm silly and I like to do a freestyle stretch try to get the whole body involved although I may not today because uh, I haven't done a floor session in a while I think I already mentioned that noticing the bottoms of my feet of my shoes sure are wearing out quickly is that wearing out or dirty a little of both I think that's dirt it's impressive isn't it <laughs> Maybe you're not impressed. I am. Anyhow, I'm going to start off by, after wiggling around a little bit and getting up on the sits bones, sitting up nice and straight, I'm just doing a forward fold, aiming the chin for the toes. Just a nice passive stretch, checking in with the spine, checking in with the legs, making sure those knees aren't locked. Maybe wagging the feet around a little bit. Just checking in with everybody. And I'm going to continue to relax the belly, moving the feet down a little bit, or the hands down toward the feet. A little bit more, a little bit more. I got a lot of hitches in the giddy up today, as I call it. And I'm going to bring this right hand over to the left leg, wherever is comfortable. Uh, ideally, I'm reaching for that toe but I might just leave it on the ankle. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of a twist, keeping the spine relatively straight in one line, but giving it a twist. I'm just looking back behind this left shoulder, whatever this thing is. <laughs> just a real passive little twist there, and then coming back to center and bending forward again, aiming the chin for the toes, so lengthening the spine, relaxing the belly, really tipping at the hips. And then I'm gonna bring this other hand over to the other foot and do a little twist going the other way, looking out over the right shoulder, just using this hand on that leg for a little bit of support and torque. I'm just getting a nice spinal twist again. Pretty mellow there, just warming up to it. Let's come back up to upright and bring the arms overhead. And then fold forward, coming onto that diagonal. Just noticing where the comfort zone stops and the stretch zone begins. Aiming the chin for the toes again, nice and long. Bringing the hands down, kind of Pull the body forward, relax in the belly, coming forward a little bit more. And then I'm going to round head toward knees. Still a long way off today. Some days I am able to fold right up, 
and other days I'm pretty stiff. Let's alternate a few times, aiming the chin for the toes with a flat back, and pulling with the hands a little bit on the legs, and then rounding down, rounding the forehead toward the knees. Just relaxing the belly, relaxing the back, letting those legs stretch out a little bit. And again, pulling the body forward. Try not to crunch up in those shoulders. Maybe making it forward a little bit more. And then rounding down toward the knees. Maybe coming down a little bit further. Relaxing the belly all the while. And again, stretching the body with a flat back, aiming the chin for the toes, relaxing that belly, maybe wiggling around a little bit on the butt and through the legs to kind of encourage loosening up. And rounding again, forehead toward knees, just trying to relax into that. And I'm going to roll back up, coming back to upright, bouncing those legs out. I'm going to bring this one foot in. I'll switch this way so you can see a little bit what I'm doing. Bringing this foot in close to the groin and pushing this knee down. And then folding the body over that long leg. Again, aiming the forehead for the knee. For me, that brings a nice stretch over into the side of the body here. And I'm working through the legs as well. There's lots of work to be done in this pose. Lots of little variations. If you're trying it, I encourage you to listen to your own body. See what feels right, what feels wrong. Don't do the parts that feel wrong. I'm gonna bring this hand over to the outside of this knee and the left hand back behind the body and add a little spinal twist again, trying to look out over that left shoulder, just exploring that twist through the body, coming back to center. Let's go the other way just for good measure, bringing the left hand onto the right knee, keeping those legs in that bent position and twisting through the upper body looking out past that back shoulder, and then coming back to center. Let's switch out those legs, bringing the left leg on the inside of the groin, and again, pressing this knee down. This right leg is coming out straight from the body, and I'm gonna lean out over that leg, still pushing this bent knee down toward the floor. In my case, it doesn't go all the way to the floor, and that's fine. If you find it's way up here, that's fine too. Uh, at some point, it may be counterproductive in the stretch way, so just find something that works for you. You can also try bringing that foot down further, like on the inside of the knee. For me, that brings the knee up even more, but not only are all bodies different, but all bodies are different day to day and side to side. So it's not about comparison or a competition. It's just about listening to your own body and noticing, caring. And come over that leg, which I notice is a much less uh, flexible stretch than on the other side today. Giving that a few breaths to kind of get into that stretch. And then coming back up, I'm gonna do a twist to the long leg side, bringing one hand on the outside of that knee, using both hands for a little bit of torque, twisting, 
looking out over that back shoulder. Giving everybody a little ringing out and then bringing this hand on the outside of that bent knee. Coming in for a twist on the other side. Definitely noticing some tension in my hips that I didn't even realize was there. It's a good thing about stretching. You might find tension you didn't know was there. Bring both feet together for uh, it's sometimes called a butterfly pose because you can flap the wings of the butterfly. Bringing those heels in as close as you can to the groin helps bring that stretch into the inner thigh and if you can just hang on to your feet and let the knees just in my mind they're floating toward the ground in actuality <laughs> they're tempting me to press them which is okay too you can press a little bit into that stretch it might look subtle and feel extreme or vice versa might look extreme and feel subtle. Again, there's not one right way to do it. And just gonna wiggle those around, just really feeling into where there's tension more than trying to force anything out of tension, just encouraging it to relax and just noticing how the body's doing today. And I'm gonna straighten both these legs again and again do a forward fold over the legs with a relatively flat back and then with a round spine. And then relatively flat back and rounding. And again, aiming chin for toes, just exploring through the stretch come into a wide leg stretch coming on up onto the sits bones maybe pulling those toes back maybe pulling the body forward in between the legs a little bit the flat back you can aim that chin for the floor And rounding. And again, relatively flat back. Just kind of using these feet for support. You can use the legs if that's more comfortable. And then leaving the legs wide, I'm gonna do a little twisting here. And one of the keys to this stretch is to not pick that hip up. You wanna keep both hips firmly planted on the ground if you can. And then bringing forehead to knee on one side, coming back to center. And then forehead toward knee on the other side. Definitely feeling a, a hitch over on this side. I just give that a little bit of extra love. Let it know I'm feeling it. And let's add a little additional Turn this into a spinal twisting session with the legs in this position. Coming back to center and then over to the other side. I had somebody come in here just a while ago. A friend of mine asked to see the head hut and, and they stepped on one of my leaves just thinking it was just any leaf, not realizing that I collected these leaves last fall. Aren't they pretty? I like, I like to look at random objects sometimes. Hard to tell in my life. What's just clutter, like this little bit of stuff that blew in from the roof? And what's part of an art project, like this leaf that I got sitting over here? It'd be hard to know if you weren't me. And even as me, it's hard to know sometimes. Uh, let's do some spinal rolls just to shake it up. This can be done just nice and mellow like this. 
or it can be done a little more rigorously, bringing the body up. Spinal rolls are a great thing to do when you're on the floor, just basically playing around on the floor. If you, if you do a bunch of them in a row and you find you go in a circle, as I sometimes do, that's a good <laughs> indication that your head's not on straight. <laughs> your spine might be a little crooked. Lots of things could be going on. I'm not, not here to diagnose anything in you or in me. Just feeling into the body. Definitely noticing where I got some hitches, where I got some suppleness wanting to shine through. Give that low back a little love because it's talking to me. And uh, try some clap snaps. Let's add a little arm stretching while we're here just to kind of even out the body, bringing one arm across the body, rolling that shoulder around maybe in that stretch position. Use the hand that's not being stretched to move the other one around. If you can, just relaxing that arm that's being pulled across. Give that a counter stretch and then bring the other one across the body. Rolling that around in the stretch position and trying to take over that movement with the other hand. Just relaxing that one. Bringing it back. Let's do a little neck stretching while we're here being silly. Mm, just bringing the chin toward the chest for a gentle stretch and then lifting the chin, not cranking the head back so much as lifting toward the sky, trying to make sure the shoulders are rolled down and back a little bit to protect the neck. Coming back to center, let's go over to the right, feeling that stretch on the left, keeping the shoulders down and relaxed. Come back to center, go over toward the left, keeping that both shoulders relaxed really, but for me the focus is in on uh, the side that I'm moving away from. Get that stretch. Let's go to that right side again and then alternate chin to shoulder, ear to shoulder, continuing to try to drop that opposite shoulder. I'm just rotating gently there a couple times. Let's go over the top and bring chin to that shoulder and then ear and chin. For me, that puts a relatively intense stretch through the neck and I'm just being real careful. I'm not trying to force anything, I'm not trying to get into where it's painful. Just again, encouraging a little bit of relaxing. Sometimes it helps to add a little rub, a little loving touch there. Just say relax, neck. Let's come back to this side. Do that again. Relax, neck. Bringing the chin toward that shoulder. Can highlight where all those tense neck muscles are. And again, I encourage you to not force any Stretching, just encourage gentle stretching. Let's do some shoulder lifting, some shoulder back and forth, some shoulder rolls. I don't know if you can hear those ka-chunks in there. I've got some good ka-chunks today. I think I'm going to call it good there and just... Uh, Wish you a fantastic day. Say thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being you and letting me be me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. It does help me out a lot. Till next time, I'll be seeing you. Peace.